Hi everyone, and welcome to Big Ideas Growing Minds. We are so happy you are here. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Your support means the world to us. Today's big idea comes from Edward de Bono and his international best-selling book, Six Thinking Hats. Thinking is the ultimate human resource. In this book, Edward de Bono puts forward a simple process that allows a thinker or a group of thinkers to separate emotions from logic, creativity from information, and allow room for both the positive and the negative. It is called Six Thinking Hats. The process uses parallel thinking which can be explained like this. Imagine a beautiful country house. One person is standing in front of the house, one is standing behind. Two other people are standing on each side of the house. All four have different views. All four are arguing that the view they are seeing is the correct view of the house. Now the group rejoins at the front of the house and everyone sees the same. They might still disagree if the house is orange or coral, but they are all looking in the same direction and the subject is fully explored. Parallel thinking ensures that everyone is heard and every opinion valued equally. It is not about arguing or trying to win, but about exploring every aspect. The six thinking hats each has an easy to remember color and each represents a certain type of thinking. Let's explore them one at a time. The white hat is all about information and is usually used at the beginning of a thinking session. During white hat thinking, everyone focuses objectively, directly, and exclusively on information. What information do we have? What information do we need and how will we obtain it? What questions need to be asked? The information can range from hard checkable facts to soft information like opinions and feelings. However, be aware that if you express your own feelings, this is red hat. So here it is only suitable to report on opinions and feelings of other people. The Red Hat Legitimizes feelings as an important part of thinking. It gives you an opportunity to express your feelings, emotions, and intuition without any need to explain or justify them. Feelings come in many forms. I love it. I don't like it. I'm worried about. I feel uncertain. Depending on which culture a thinker comes from, the expression of feelings can vary a great deal. A thinker from Japan might say, I feel uncertain while an American will say, I hate this idea, when trying to express the same feelings. There is no need to explain or justify your feelings. Simply express them as they exist at this particular moment in time. The black hat is the hat for being cautious and careful. It stops us from doing things that are illegal, dangerous, unprofitable, polluting, and so on. It is the hat of survival. In order to survive, we need to know what to avoid and what's not going to work and what is not good for us. Black hat thinking points out if an idea is contradictory or inconsistent and if it does not match our resources, values, strategy, and so forth. The yellow hat. Think of sunshine. Think of optimism. Under the yellow hat, a thinker deliberately sets out to find whatever benefits that may derive from the suggested idea or plan. Yellow hat thinking is positive and constructive, and under it, we look for the upside and search for benefits. It covers all positive thinking, ranging from the logical and practical at one end to dreams and visions at the other end. The green hat is the energy hat under which new ideas are put forward. Here, options and alternative solutions are laid out. Under the green hat, we seek to modify and improve. Now is the time to go beyond the known, the obvious, and the satisfactory. Everyone is expected to make a creative effort and put forward possibilities. The blue hat is for thinking about thinking. It functions similarly as a conductor of an orchestra guiding the musicians. Using the blue hat at the beginning of a thinking session defines the situation. It lays out what needs to be achieved and defines the agenda and purpose of the session. Typically, the blue hat is worn by the facilitator, chairperson, or leader, and is a permanent role. However, anyone taking part in the thinking session is free to offer blue hat comments and suggestions along the way. It is the responsibility of the person wearing the blue hat to summarize, create overviews, and draw conclusions. The blue hat should always be used both at the beginning and at the end of a thinking session. Benefits of the Six Hats Method 
The biggest enemy of thinking is complexity, since it leads to confusion. When thinking is clear and simple, it becomes more enjoyable and effective. The Six Hats concept is simple to understand and easy to use. It allows thinkers to deal with one thing at a time, for everyone to get heard and for every aspect to get investigated. And there you have it, Six Thinking Hats by Edward de Bono. We hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to give it a like. Take care and see you soon.